Good evening friends. This is Manas Patnaik, your friend and tutor. And in today's session, we are going to be cutting or sectioning a pentagonal pyramid which is resting with its base on HP. And by the way, uh, the chapter that we are discussing is section of solids. Okay, sectioning means cutting a solid and then drawing its projections, its front view, its top view, its side view and so on. Let's read the problem. Let's extract the details and let's uh, understand this with the help of a 3D demonstration and then we'll get to the power point software and I'll explain you step by step construction method and how you can make it very very easily. Trust me, you can make this drawing in the next 5 to 10 minutes manually. Okay, it's very easy. Uh, let me read the problem description. So, we are talking about a pentagonal pyramid whose base is 30 mm and height is 52. Let me demonstrate. These are what you call base edges. How many? Five base edges are there at the base. Okay. So all of them are 30 millimeter each. Secondly, the height of the pyramid is 52. Sir, what is this height? So this is a pentagonal base. This is a regular geometry. It is going to have its center somewhere here. And when that center is connected with the apex or the top of the pyramid, the line through which you connect is known as the axis and the length of that axis has been given as 52. It is resting on its base on HP. Okay, so this pyramid is resting with its base on this horizontal plane. This also has been given to us. Now, uh, quick. If a solid is resting with its base on HP, tell me, from where can you see the true shape? Sir, the true shape of the base can obviously be seen from the top. Okay, so you have to begin by making the top view. But what kind of a top view are you going to make? That still is a question. If you read it further, we find that one of the base edges is perpendicular to the VP. So have a careful look. This base edge is perpendicular to VP. Yes, this can be seen from the top. And if you consider this kind of arrangement, of a pentagonal pyramid, you will see that over here, this rightmost edge is perpendicular to the vertical plane. Well, you can begin with any of the two options. This is also correct and this as well is correct. Okay, your choice. I am going to choose this one. Right. Now, if you read the question further, we can uh, get the details about the section plane. It is parallel to HP. So, this is the section plane. Okay, it is parallel to HP. You can see it. It is parallel to HP. Right. Secondly, it cuts the axis of the pyramid at 25 mm from the base. Okay, with respect to the base, the height at which it is cutting the axis or cutting the entire solid is 25 millimeters. So here I am going to plug in the value of 25 and let's see where is this cutting plane. So this is the cutting plane. Let me switch off the live section, live section for a while. Okay, and if you take a look at the front view, this cutting plane looks like a horizontal line in the front view. Have a look. Yes, yes, sir, this cutting plane looks indeed like a line. Okay, want to see it again? This is the original cutting plane. If you look at the object from the front, it looks or converges like a line. Right, so uh, in the front view, you have to make a line. And this line has to be made at a height of... 25 millimeters. So, this height has to be 25 millimeters. Done. So, we need to draw its front view and the sectional top view. Now, uh, students, one more thing which is very important. Let me uh, go for the live section mode. This is the section. And from where can you see the section? Sir, we can see the section from the top. And hence, this qualifies as our sectional top view. And top view is always made on the horizontal plane. Remember this. Right. So this is what is expected from you. And please note one more thing. The portion of the pyramid above the cutting plane, now, since it has been taken away. Okay. It is not uh, as if we are going to erase it. Instead, we are going to keep it very, very light. And the portion of the pyramid, which lies below this cutting plane, that is this portion shall be kept dark, thick and dark portion above the cutting plane, thin and light. That's the protocol which we'll follow. I think we are good to go. And uh, now we shall straight away
let me explain you how this question can be uh, attempted with ease right this is the arrangement take a look okay this is the introduction of cutting plane and uh, if you remove the portion of the solid above the cutting plane this is how it would look this has been done in isometric so what we want is we want the arrangement from the front and from the top that is what our objective is how to begin sir the beginning is going to be very easy you you watch this you have to first of all start by making a regular pentagon you can assume this distance as 30 millimeters or 20 millimeters your choice okay not more we don't want to wish i mean waste any space this angle so once you have this point draw a line of 30 millimeter this point this angle has to be 108 this angle as well is 108 30 millimeters 30 millimeters with this as center and with an arc of this arc is of 30 again with the two as center you need to put another arc this arc is having a radius of 30 millimeters this intersection point will give you 0.3 so that's how you make your pentagon that is the first thing now take a look the side in front of 5 is 2 3 center of 2 3 you have to locate it and you have to draw a line like this a very thin line barely visible with one as the i mean you have to produce a line through one which ends at the midpoint of this line 3 4 this way through all of these corners you need to draw such lines and this is what you'll finally make right so these happen to be the slant edges o3 o4 o5 but how do they look in the front let's see that let me draw the projectors through o4 2 and 3 and this is the base of the pyramid right and this is the base of the axis length of the axis or height of the axis happens to be 52 millimeters so from here at a height of 52 you are going to locate point o dash very well now 1 o this way 2 o this way 3 o this way so simply make lines in fact 1 o and 5 o are overlapping each other in the front view in fact 2 o and 4 o are overlapping in the front view o3 is alone it is here and since o3 is parallel to xy therefore o dash 3 dash o dash 3 dash represents the true length of the slant edge i hope this is clear to everyone this is something that we have discussed in detail in projection of lines okay so far so good now let's talk about the cutting plane the section plane or cutting plane is parallel to hp and it cuts the axis of the pyramid at 25 mm from its base so from the base at a height of 25 you've got to make this cutting plane and if you watch uh, we have the line type that we've used is a center line and um, however the thing to notice the portion of the cutting plane outside is thick and dark whereas the portion that's inside is thin and dark right that's the difference so far so good now since there are two slant edges o1 o5 over here there are going to be two cutting points okay so you can simply project lines in the downward direction this point corresponds to a this is e in the same fashion this is b this is the d this is c so what you have to write over here when you view it from the front you'll see a first and then e and that's why we'll write a dash e dash from the front when you look you'll see b first and just behind b exactly behind b there is d b dash d dash and then you c dash easy it's over you just need to do the hatching and this is the hatch let me zoom on this this is the hatch okay i mean the shading portion is uh is left slightly let me show that to you and as i promised the portion of the solid below the cutting plane has to be darkened like this and the above portion keep it light so initially i would suggest you to make the entire drawing with the help of a 3h or a 4h pencil and once you're done 
uh, you can override with the an edge pencil okay but make sure it is thick slightly thick right and this d4 or d this portion if you if you have a careful look d4 keep it dark but do keep it light d4 is dark because it is below the cutting plane do is light as it is above the cutting plane and uh, ah, i've added a bit of color to my drawing you don't need to do that okay but if you're working this if you're working on autocad you can obviously add colors in fact you can add a different color to this axis you can assign a different color to this cutting plane as well your choice <clears throat> so guys that was all from my set today this is manas patnaik signing off and if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below uh, you can mail it directly to me my email id is manas2787 at the thank you very much and have a nice day